one more problem for today. Um, <laughs> let me create new file. I have this. Yes, it's day 21. Um, and we probably need a file here as well. Okay, we have grapple. Connect. Okay, ready to go. <sighs> Day twenty one. Dirac dies. There is not much to do as you slowly descend to the bottom of the ocean, so bring up your challenge to the next game of Dirac dies. Makes a single die, two pawns. Yes. And two pawns. And the game worked with a circle track containing 10 space marks and other of the vice. Let's play two, the player also died three times and adds up the results. And the player moves his pawn with many times forward to another track. This one clockwise on spaces in order to draw an increasing way of writing the work. One after ten. So if a player is on space 7, 0, 2, the 1, they would move forward 5 times, space is 9, 8, 10, 1, and finally stopping at 2. To which they increase the score by the value of the space. The pawn stopped on, player score started at 0. First player starts in space 7. On the rolls to the 5, they would stop on space 2 and add 2 to the score. Okay. Okay, uh, and we have one, three. Okay, we, don't, we, don't, we are not going to need uh, this for eight. Okay, four, eight, one, three. We're not going to need files at all, which is a good change of pace. Cool. Um, P1, P2, P1, P1, P2, P2, die. Um, is it die or dies? Okay, uh, well, first one. Uh, what else do we need to track? Positions. Mm. Positions score. All right, and so. Um,
guess we need the rolls. Well, die is okay. Okay, so I wonder just if Okay, I'm thinking we, we are going to need a function called inc plus or even add a b wrap, right? And the way it works is going a plus b. Minus one mod wrap plus one. Okay, so this way, for example, if we add um, ten, so save your addition ten, and we have wrap. What twenty one? How did we get twenty one? Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, it's actually positions from given one, right? Yeah, feel sorry. Okay, but anyways, uh, so what do we do? What do we do? So we calculate roll, right? Roll it's at die one. Hundred and two hundred and three hundred. This is how many how much player rolled, right? Hmm. Now for the score, the score is uh, delta S is going to be We need to make this many turns, but actually um, from one to ten. One plus two plus three plus four. It's nine, ten. It's forty-five, right? Fifty-five. 
55. It's 55, I think. So full turn is 55. Uh, multiply 55 quad roll 10, right? And then we probably need to take the position plus position plus position plus blah, 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 blah. let's say p is p1 right now um reduce module 10 so something like that um what we do is accumulator zero and ah, accumulator is actually p where we start where we start but we don't use the position we start in right uh, start zero okay so this is going to be position accumulator and this argument we ignored we only needed to know how many steps to make All right like this so we make one step <laughs> yeah uh, plus arc add p1 we make one step um And we need a uh, second from this, All right? And P prime is going to be actually P modulo 10, um, well, roll 10, I guess. Yes, yes. Okay, so depending on whose turn it is, we start with different score. Oh. What else do we need to, to figure out? The new value for die. Uh, the new value for die, it rolled three times. So it's basically like this, right? Rolls. Zero. Okay, so let's record. P 
p1, p2, p2, p1. If it was our turn, I use new value. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, maybe case turn uh, P1. So in case it was a turn of P1, we recall with turn for P2, P prime, P2, right? Plus S1 um, DS, S2 plus three rolls. Add die three hundred or thousand hundred. Okay. All right. If it was P two turn, we recall P one, uh, P one, P prime as. One has two DS plus roll, okay. And we also need to check if we overflow. So P this is position and this is delta S. Well, actually, if plus bigger equals plus as one ds thousand, uh, we return. Well, actually, let's see, a losing player and how many dice has been rolled. So, losing player would be P2 rolls, right? Like this. Same goes for P2. Uh, so P1. And let's say P1. Okay, so this is long, terrible, is probably wrong. Our gun goes past reduce. Six twenty four. Okay, something is wrong. <laughs> what? Let's uh, add debug, uh, print LN, turn P one, P two, S one. Okay, let's see how it goes. So P1 is at position 4, P2 at position 8. After the first turn, P1 should be on 10 with 10 score. And I have 45 score. Because P1 rolls 1, 2, and 3, and I have 45 score. And score is DS, right? So roll is going to be 1, 2, 3. This should give us 0, right? Right, and here this should give us 6. So six times we take we take six steps, and it's going to be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Okay, so 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. Now, we're supposed to have... Well, we are standing on 4, right? We are supposed to have 45. Okay, and they say it's 10. just where you end ah okay so i got this wrong okay 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 um just where you end up so this is a score hmm this makes it very simple actually we don't need this at all Right, but let comment this out because just in case uh, P prime is going to be this. Well, yeah, don't need this. Okay, so P prime is where we end up, right? Uh, what if? P prime so basically instead of DS we put P prime. Okay. Control B example line ninety and three. No, this is wrong. P two. Oh, it's supposed to be S two, S one. So we got the amount of scores right, but the die has been rolled total of 993 times. We got this wrong, right? Yes, we have to add three rolls here, actually. Okay, now it feels all right. Multiple S2 plus 3 rolls. And same goes here, but for S1. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's the right answer. Yahoo! Um, it's actually very interesting that, wait, what? Oh, no, 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 it's all right. It's not very interesting. Um, now that you've warmed up, it's time to play the real game. A second compartment open, this time labeled Dirac dice. Out of it falls a single three-sided die. As you experiment with the die, you feel a little strange. An informational brochure in the compartment explains that this is a quantum die. When you roll it, the universe splits into multiple copies, one copy for each possible outcome of the die. In this case, rolling the die always splits the universe into three copies, one where the outcome of the roll was one, one where it was two, and one where it was three. The game is played the same as before, although to prevent things from getting all far out of hand. The game now ends when either player score reaches at least 21. Using the same starting position as an example above, player one wins in player two rarely wins in universes. Even here, given starting position, determine every possible outcome. Fin find player that wins in more universes and how many universes does that player win Fuck. okay Okay, so we're probably not going to need this. 
so part one is part one. Okay, part one is we don't need to touch part one. We don't need this. Uh, um, splits universe splits fucking hell. Score is twenty one. Uh, so this looks like a very huge number, like super huge number, right? Which means we probably shouldn't be counting it directly. So the worst case is probably when they all throw ones or maybe uh yeah we try to use English ones huh So actually it can roll any number from three to nine, which is not that bad, right? But the amount of universes is going to be bigger. Three to nine. Three to nine, three to nine, three to nine. Hmm. <sighs> I'm just thinking, should I try recursion or not? Maybe I should, maybe I should, maybe I should, uh, right? So let's say we have a function that takes kind of the same, right? So it okay, which whose turn turn it is. And say this function returns a tuple uh, like in how many universes player one wins and in how many player two wins, right? Turn P1, P2, S1, S2. Rolls, we don't care about rolls, right? But we don't care about die as well. So it's kind of going to be the sum of play you can just use it like this. Uh, this is whose turn it is, yes. Let's, uh, let's use this. 
So let's say player one is, let's say case turn P1, okay. So is this means that it's play P2, <laughs> so let's assume player one throws three, right? Well, actually, it can throw one, 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 two, one, one, three, one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, two, three, one, three, one, one, three, two, one, three, three, and three times that, right? So this is like nine, twenty-seven. So it's going to be twenty-seven. Um, okay, so we are going to calculate um, frequencies. Uh, it's going to be for one, two, three, A, B, one, two, three, C, one, two, three. All right, and what we what we care about is the sum and frequency. So this function comes useful a lot. Okay, so there's one possibility to three, throw three, three possibility to throw four. Um, so P1 is going to be add P1 3, right? 10 P2 plus S1 And we multiple this freaks three, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we know that frequencies for four is three, one, six, seven, six, three, one. Okay, um, let's actually. to this okay so this is if player one goes and player two it's kind of the same Player two, player one, P one, P prime, S one, S two. Okay, so this is play, right? But we don't have win condition. We don't have win condition actually. Uh, and let's actually def um, two star and 
mod three excess multiple ampersand because so basically it means multiply everything by a vector yes um, one so if player 2 has just reached 21 we return 0 1 right so in this universe player 2 won and this universe player 1 won And what we want to call is play P1 for eight for eight zero zero. Okay. Let's multiply. Oh yeah, and forgot I forgot this. And we also want plus star, and this is basically no plus star is different. Plus star is just sums all the vectors. map v vector no 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 wait 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 so <laughs> so this is going to be like zero zero five two one ten uh ten ten some something like this right and we want to sum like first Sixteen, yes. Boom. Yeah, this is very, very slow recursion. Okay, let's see. We have some. Apparently, we have some performance issues. Line 45. No, we don't care about those. Yeah, we don't care about those. S2 and die. Okay, okay, that's what I was afraid of, that we'll have to invent something.
It's not working. Oh, it worked. Look. Uh, does it look like the numbers that we're expecting? 444? No. Okay. <laughs> this is very bad. Actually, it took exactly 60 seconds. Um, four, eight, zero, zero, P1 starts, and we got the wrong number. Wait, we, we did this table wrong, right? One, three, six. This should be seven, then six, then three, then one. Oh my god. What's the table wrong? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's. Uh, oops. Um, input. P1, P2, claim, P1, P1, P2, zero, zero. Can we speed it up? Or uh, maybe... I don't think this is particularly fast. Maybe we, it's better to reduce. Let's actually reduce excess uh, zero zero. And XS in our case is just A, B, so it is probably also faster this way. And we can say, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it gives the correct answer and it works way faster with this change. Um, so what we need is more universes, so it's basically apply max, right? And that's the right answer, yahoo! And we only solved it. Actually, the second one solves faster, which is surprising. Let's see. Yeah, we have a fraction. Oh. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Cool, 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 cool. And we still have no clue what this is about, right? Claim twenty one. Um, uh, 
I just like to see like every problem we ever solved working like in milliseconds or seconds sometimes. Not always milliseconds, but sure. It's nice. Okay, out of curiosity, I'm going to profile part two, just to see if we can figure out any Any obvious way to increase um, the speed. Okay, so as expected, this is recursive, right? So play, 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 play. Um, but like here, what rest if fan invoke hash num. Okay, rest of fun invoke is not super cool, I assume. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is because we have this uh, thingy. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we rewrite it like this. We can actually do A, B, C, D, F, G, H, E, G. So this is five. L, all right. So this is plus A, C, E, G, I, K, M, D. F A H G L N. Okay, um let's see if it's faster. No, it's not faster. It it's slightly faster, right? One point eight one point seven or is it uh, is it the same? Oh, it's slightly faster, it's slightly faster. Okay, 2.1, okay. Um, the other way, if we go to core, the problem with plus is it's only this, right? Um, so what you actually want to do is a plus C plus E plus G plus E plus K plus F. Something like this. And B plus D plus F plus H plus G plus L plus M. Okay, this should be even faster. No, not really. Not really. Uh, but let's see if we got rid of this rest of them. Yes, numbers num um, add greater than. So here we're paying some overhead for closure number subtraction. Like this. Uh, 
I should use int will probably overflow. But just to see if this gives us any. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Hmm. So ideally we would want this to be two longs, right? Two longs. How much is the result? Okay, so this is the result, right? Calculator. It's, it's like 45 bits. 45 bits, so it doesn't fit in a single primitive long, unfortunately. Um, we can use long array oh, that would be array of two longs we can use the type maybe like long pair A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. But see, it's still a pointer, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but... A, 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 B, A, C, but in this case we use b okay hopefully hopefully long pair p and basically what we want is long pair and also long here long pair here Right, long prayer multiple AP BP. Okay. Mm. Long prayer zero one. Long prayer one zero. Okay, and what do we want? out of this is let's say like this uh, it doesn't print <laughs> okay uh, but it's it was faster right um, I don't remember if Oh, it doesn't have keyword access. So, okay. Uh, 
it's about twice as fast, which is good. Okay, now we still have closure num, right? Um, <laughs> okay, what if we use now that we have this, we replace it with unchecked and see about the same right but kind of okay Kind of okay. Um, I don't see any obvious way to speed this up further. This keyword should be okay. Scores be one. We can mark this as long in case this happens. Uh, this helps. What? Um. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. Um, play P one. Well, this is strange, but. Let's say this. Um, play P2, play P1, and we need to declare play P2, right? All right. Alright. Uh -huh. Okay, we fucked something up, but well, let's restart. The type annotations um, Okay, I can see what I fucked up. Well, we split it up a little bit more. It's interesting that example takes longer than the actual problem. Let's see if we can see anything obvious in here. No. There's still some num and this get forward. Numbers num, huh? Numbers num mm, add maybe play p2 and 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 now well, add is super um untated everywhere <sighs> okay no I think I think we're good I think we're good I think we can leave it at that Hmm. 
interesting. Why? Supposed to be how my annotations ignored? Huh. Okay, whatever. Hmm. This seems to be ignored, unfortunately. Okay, now we're good. Anyway, yeah. Let me commit, and this will be all. Yeah, yeah, come on. Stage 21, delete, 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 stage. Year 2021, day 21. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, install and did not push. Did push, right? Yes, it did push. Okay, that will be it. Thanks for watching. Join me tomorrow for the rest of this thing. Bye-bye.